Hey there, Shibi Doodlers. How are you doing? Well, today I'm going to show you how to draw uh, this lady sitting at a bench. It's a very fast sketch I'm going to do. And I'm doing it because I did these two drawings on Draw Stuff Real Easy this week. So this is kind of putting them together in a sketch. You're going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. And, oh, yeah, you're going to need some kind of a paintbrush and some paint too. And you're going to need to be quick to follow along. You can always stop and start anytime you like. But let's not talk about it. <laughs> Let's do it. So I'm going to sketch this out um, very gently in pencil. Then I'm going to ink it and then I'm going to colour it in. This is the surface of the table. This is a slightly different table to the one um, I've drawn on Draw Stuff Real Easy this week. So I'm going to imagine these kind of things coming down like that and then... This is more of a garden table than a cafe table, I suppose. So they're going to come out like that. Then that one's going to be coming sort of down there. So you've got a kind of a, and another ellipse out the bottom onto which these legs are going to have to kind of land, as it were. Um, then we're going to have a kind of a bit of fanciness like that. Um, we'll have a bit of fanciness. You need to keep your wits about you on this. <laughs> quite where that goes um and we're gonna have some bits sort of a, a, on mm, we're not going to see these top curls but we'll see those bits kind of coming down like that and then we'll want the feet down there somewhere and then we're going to want a chair so um you kind of have to think about where <laughs> where the chair seat is going to go I think maybe that's a little bit high. So I'm going to have the chair seat roughly about... No, I think I was right, actually. So we'll have a kind of a diamond shape like that. And then we're going to want the um, the back and the front legs that are coming down like that. So we're wanting to kind of um, have a perspective kind of line coming that way. Um, then that's going to cross over there because this is a folding chair and that's going to be coming across like that and then we'll want a little piece on the back. So then we can fit a person on here <laughs> and this is again around thinking about um, proportions. So I think probably maybe the head needs to be a little bit bigger, sort of shoulder and then their body is going to be kind of like that and their legs will be coming over the top there, trouser legs, feet, um, and then arm. Mm, this will kind of be sort of wrist on the table, kind of like that. And then this one can be reaching out, maybe a glass of wine, something like that. Um, and then we can have a, a wine bottle there too. Uh, let's think about where that head goes. Um, and so then we'll want an ear around about there. Has some hair. Uh, that can be. Let's make it. Uh, <laughs> let's make it a lady, and then she can have her hair sort of coming around there. And um, let's put in another chair because she oh have an empty glass there because she's expecting somebody. In fact, maybe let's just do something like that so we'd sort of change change her, her look entirely to um, yeah so that she's maybe looking up and seeing somebody uh, another chair here so one two that's coming down so yeah go, go, <laughs> this all seems a bit fast uh, drawing this chair go and have a look at my draw stuff real easy how to draw a folding cafe chair there's a link up here um, and that would be a bit a um, bit slower <laughs> give me a bit more of an idea what's going on so now um, and if you stayed this far hey look kind of click down there and uh, make sure you're subscribed uh, to the she rain and drawing channel and um, I'm gonna put her hair kind of like that so maybe we'll see a bit of oh I don't know I'm just I'm kind of thinking that I'm sort of out sketching. I'm not, I'm actually in my studio. So let's, um, 
I'm thinking that I'm sort of sort of sketching um, and just sort of doing this really really quickly as I would so maybe she's got a bit of a necklace in there scoopy kind of neck um, and maybe a bit of there there we go and so I'm gonna give her a very very simple um, just a she's got a simple kind of top on and and so um yeah i mean how uh you know how how accurate do you get in in a sketch um i think you know it's it's good to have a sort of a feeling that they could actually be <laughs> sitting there um and that you've got the you know the weight right and that they're and everything's kind of roughly in the right place um and so we can then draw the table coming around there let's have a uh, a wine bottle coming down there with a label and we want an empty glass here that's going to be there something like that so we'll, now we can fit the table in around the back and you see a lot of this I can do quite quickly because I because I've spent a bit of time sketching and kind of <laughs> looking at <laughs> tables and things like that and I'm thinking how am I going to do this um so it's practice a lot of this is practice and you know if you're out and about and you're sitting at a cafe just get your sketchbook out and just have a go oh no let's do that um Mm, that's going to come down there. So this wants then to come around that way. That's not what we want. And then that will come down there. That would be the feet. And, you know, when you're sketching, you're not... <laughs> you're not d taking a photograph. You're sort of doing a, a... a feel of what's going on, really. And so, you know, you don't need to worry about, you know, straight lines and whether you've quite got that right and if you make a little bit of a mistake it doesn't matter just kind of fix it and uh you know just keep drawing that's the thing <laughs> so uh we're going to want a little kind of a hoopy thing there to pull those um legs together and then uh let's draw these uh legs in here first and i'll give her a quite sort of um, little sort of pumps like that. That's quite big feet, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, so that's going to come to about there, and then we're going to want these uh, slats coming across to make the the chair like that. And we've got these funny little folds at the um, ends of the, the the wire slats that make the, the little strips, rather, aren't they? That make the uh, the legs on a folding chair like that. Now you're not going to see that one coming through the back there, but you're going to see that one sort of coming through there. And that's, so you see anything? That's about right. That's all you need to show. Uh, so then we can have that one coming around about there. And then maybe there's a little curl at the back and we'll see another one sort of coming down there and there's going to be a bit of a sort of a curl and another curl through there so let's just draw this one and that's going to be so we'll draw these sort of slats that make up the uh, the seat and one more there and let's put the the slat that makes the back there and then we can bring the <laughs> the legs down here and then that can come down to there a little bolt holding the whole thing together uh, we need to do this one oh, and I actually got this the wrong way around on <laughs> my trust a real easy one um, so that needs to be on the outside and we got a bit there and then we want also sort of supports that are coming in about there 
Um, we can think that this is on some kind of a patio, so there may be some, you know, sort of kind of rocky things going on around the back there like that. And maybe there's a, you know, patio there. There's some kind of rocks <laughs> making up the patio. And then, you know, maybe some kind of foliage. When you are sure that the ink is dry, <laughs> then you can erase those pencil lines. But if you're out and about and you're sketching, and you know, you might not can't be bothered to do that. that but in fact, if I was out sketching, I wouldn't do the pencils. I'd just go straight to the sketch. But um, but then I'd have <laughs> I'd have the person in front of me to copy, and um, which I haven't here. So this is all in my imagination. So I would just kind of plan it out first. I'm going to use my little sketching set and I've got my water brush, I've got some kitchen towel and so I'm just going to clean my brush. This this is my water brush, it has the uh, water in the handle so this is great for sketching. Um, you don't have to have sort of pots of water around the place. My patrons will know I'm going to go straight to <laughs> Naples Yellow. You can become a patron too. and. Um, you'll get a, a kind of a high-res version of this and, and all sorts of other stuff uh, when you come and support me on Patreon. Thank you very much. And thanks to all of those who do. So I'm going to get a tiny little bit of... Uh, so I think this is Scarlet Lake. I'm just going to sort of pop a little bit in there just to get a bit of... sort of... It's not shade, it's it's sort of contour, I suppose. Creating contour with colour. And while I think about it, then we need probably need some kind of a sort of pattern on the... You, know, you get the kind of holes in these um, garden <laughs> tables, don't you? And I'm just going to... Actually, I'm just going to draw some quick bit of shade in on her top there and maybe a bit here also on her trousers pants whatever you call them <laughs> different names around the world let's have a little bit of red wine in there so you know and, and as i say it's it's a sketch you don't need to have massive details so red wine will have a, a sort of a dark green bottle won't it so maybe i'll kind of do something more like Mm, <laughs> like that. <laughs> we'll leave that uh, glass empty and I'll have a bit more of that kind of sort of thing going on in there as well. We're going to want to have, mm, should we have green garden chairs? Oh no, we want that kind of, oh, that sort of French kind of shabby chic kind of bluey. <laughs> bluey green rather than I said green is just too Victorian and old fashioned isn't it really um, we need a you know a sort of a bit more of a modern sort of as I say shabby chic kind of French kind of all this kind of ironwork stuff is very French isn't it but I'm going to leave the table white I think rather I don't think you'd paint that now this is neutral tint I don't use black in my palette Black is it just punches a hole in uh, in in watercolour, and so I don't use it. <laughs> but neutral tint, Davies Grey will work as well. Oh, and <laughs> I should also point out if you haven't got any of those, then you can get burnt sienna like that, and then a bit of uh, French ultramarine, and kind of mix the two together, and you get a pretty good kind of equivalent. For, for greys and things like that. Um, I, and I'll just pop those in there, do some um, kind of blocks on the wall there. And then here I think I'm going to have something more kind of ochre kind of colour down there. I'll give our lady some... I'm going to give her a stripy top actually. So let's clean that off. She says so she's going to have a Let's go with a French theme <laughs> and let me give her a kind of a stripy top. And then we've got to 
work our way down the sleeves so that will be something like that and then we'll have some stripes underneath there so she's um, uh, very sort of, sort of a Brittany kind of top isn't it not not like Britney Spears. Yeah, she's free at last. <laughs> free at last. So, um, and then we can, again, add a bit of shade to these stripes just to give that extra little bit of sort of contour and shape. And maybe bung a bit of that in there as well as a shade on the chair while I'm at it there and then shh, I'll give her I'll give her some sort of darkish blue so French ultramarine and I'm adding a bit of well I'm adding a bit of neutral I suppose I ought to add a little bit of brown really uh, to get that kind of grey blue so let's just do that and then that will also help to make these this sort of white ironwork curly ironwork sort of stand out except I painted over it by mistake um, and then I think she'll have um, oh I'm just going to give her dark shoes I haven't because yeah, I haven't got any reference material so <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to think what would she be wearing now I'm going to sh draw kind of shaded bits underneath there like that and maybe there I think I think we need a bit of um, huh. uh, Naples yellow there and a bit of kind of sort of flesh tones we sort of get that into there mm -hmm. I'm gonna have some more kind of stonework sort of things going on behind here And I'm just, and, and I'm, I'm going to add on top of this in a moment, just to kind of take that all the way to the back. And yeah, so I'm going to get some sort of yellow ochre, Naples yellow kind of yucky mess. And I'm just going <laughs> to, that really is a mess. Um, but I'm just going to kind of put this floor in here, which means then we can get this ironwork to so, so the, the white painted ironwork to stand out a bit more and at the same time I'm kind of thinking in a kind of vignette kind of way to get a kind of a curve along here sort of mm, I do that then we got this sort of vignette curve thing going on there and then I'll just get a bit of that uh, yellow I can't remember which cadmium yellow with a bit of green in it and then I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do anything amazing around the back I think that's a bit too a bit too kind of obviously green so I'm just gonna sort of so she's sort of sitting there with oh, there's some kind of greenery behind her <laughs> when you're sketching you don't really need those details it's a bit like when you're taking a photograph and you have that sort of faded bouquet sort of blur in the background which brings the thing that you actually want to see into the foreground and in, in, into focus so just blur blur the background um and then yeah let's do some of that sort of brownie gray thing so that's um uh, burnt sienna with some French ultramarine and then we're going to have the, the wall is going to be made out of that so that we can uh, yeah that's going in there and, and then that will hopefully <laughs> bring these details out here and I'm going to get my hairdryer out and give this a quick whoosh. <laughs> By the way, some people kind of say, did you speed that up? Uh, no, I, I'm painting this all in absolute real time. I'm, you know, when, when I sketch, I kind of become a bit of a demon. Um, so I'm going to put some 
shade under there and across and this will kind of add a bit of something to her trousers we'll need a bit of shade under her legs there as well um, maybe a bit of shade around there maybe a bit of shade under her fringe that's the word I'm looking for uh, we're gonna need some shade on the table there aren't we and underneath there um, certainly that label needs a bit of shade that's standing out a bit too much um, and again I'm using neutral tint for all this shading um, maybe we'll put some in oh, that will be under there there um, that will be quite shaded oh and then we want some slats across there will be shaded we'll have some sort of quite serious shade that she'll be casting on the ground and these will be all sort of casting some kind of a shade and I think maybe we'll have a little bit here because you've got sort of a, a cap, capstone on this wall here which will be casting shade there too and you can maybe just kind of put a few odd <laughs> bits of uh, texture in there and pfft, I'm not going to do any more there you go thanks for watching don't forget to check out draw stuff real easy where you can learn how to draw the chair and a, a slightly simpler table too please do make sure you're subscribed both to draw stuff real easy and to this channel just click down there and in the meantime <laughs> keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye